I started trying to make money online almost two years ago. And at first, I was just doing the absolute wrong things on repeat every single day. So I realized after a while that outreaching to businesses every day with a new product or service that I had no understanding of was not a very high leverage task. At the point at which I was, it made no sense at all. I would finally get some person that was like, yeah, sure, I guess I'll try this out. And then I'd try to produce the product or service and I'd have no idea how to do it because I hadn't studied it, I hadn't learned it. I'd never done it in my life. I barely knew what it meant. <laughs> I barely knew more than what they knew. And so it, it, it was all just wacky. My whole understanding of what my priorities was, what I was gonna do each day, the tasks that I do dedicated my time to, it was all just off, everything was off. And as a result, I produced nothing. And this has been you know, a common pattern over the last two years, I'm trying to figure out something new, right? So I gotta figure out what's valuable, what produces results, and what, like, what I need to do, dedicate my time to every single day. And so I've, I've actually taken on a practice ever since I started this of every once in a while, I'll just take like a few days off. Sometimes I'll take a couple weeks off and I'll just stop doing all the tasks that I've been doing like repeat for months and months or whatever. And uh, I'll just analyze everything. I'm like, do I really need this? Like what's, what am I actually doing here? And I'll find that if I've been doing the wrong things, I'll usually put it off a lot longer, right? Like, uh, well, with this YouTube, you'll, you'll see in my videos, like, I'm never away for more than, you know, a few days. <laughs> so, um, anytime I step back to analyze stuff with YouTube, it's like, I always come back because I know there's so much opportunity here and I know that I'm doing the right things and that I'm building a certain business I understand. I know what I'm gonna record my videos about. I know who my audience is. I know what I'm gonna sell eventually. I know all these different things. And so it's not a puzzle for my mind to figure out. And it's not like I'm running on a destination to nowhere, right? Like I'm not just running in like with no purpose, with no intention behind it. Like I actually know what I'm doing here. Whereas before I had so many actions that were just like random things that I just felt like I needed to do. When I, when I first started, I was like, yeah, I need to get an LLC. If, you, if you're gonna try to make money online, don't touch legalities. Don't, don't even mess with it until you start making like a significant amount of money. Like if you make a thousand bucks, like start touching legalities. But before then, there's no, no purpose. It's just so much headache and it literally does nothing. And then you gotta worry about taxes and then you gotta worry about, you know, setting, setting up credit cards and all that. You don't need to do any of that. Don't, don't worry about that stuff. If you're trying to make money online, it's, it's not like a standard business. It's not like you're starting a gym or some kind of landscaping business or something. Legalities are like secondary because really you're probably gonna struggle a lot more than all these people online are telling you, you're gonna make money in two weeks, you're gonna make money in a month, two months, three months. No, like if, you, if you're new to this, it's gonna take a minute. Like you have to, you gotta read books, you gotta be learning as much as you can in the beginning. And don't just go and send a bunch of DMs when you have no idea what this product or service is that you're gonna be doing. Like. You have to actually learn how to do something online and then the money comes secondarily. And so don't worry about legalities. Don't think about hiring people. You can't hire unless you can train. If you don't already have a process that produces results, then hiring is stupid. Don't buy a bunch of random softwares on subscriptions that you're gonna be spending money every single day. Like I, I messed up so many things. My priorities were way out of line. I would spend time uh, on calls with uh, these, you know, 1099 employees that I was paying, you know, 100 or 200 bucks uh, every couple weeks. And it was just like stupid. It, it None of it made any sense. And, uh, I, you know, I, at the time I thought this was what you need to do. This is how people make money online. You know, I saw one guru say this, one guru say that. And a lot of it, honestly, maybe it would make sense at their level. But when you're starting, a lot of that stuff doesn't make sense. So you have to figure out what your priorities are. What are the things that produce the most value at this stage where you're at? And this is not super easy to do, right? Like I've played video games and board games my entire life. So if you have ever done those two things, then you're probably going to relate to what I'm about to tell you. But if not, you're still going to learn something. So I've played those things all my life, especially when it comes to board games. I've always liked the strategy ones, right? They're, they're labeled strategy board games, right? And uh, a lot of them have to do with figuring out the meta of the game and then 
essentially applying that, right? So you got to figure out what to prioritize in the game, and then you win, right? So, like Monopoly, for example, that's something that everybody understands. So, I found out that the meta in Monopoly is just creating as much opportunity and leverage as you can. Okay, and so people don't like understand this. They'll act. They'll acquire a property, right? And they'll acquire this and that. And they're like, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't. I don't know where any opportunities are. And if you can figure out where all those opportunities are, you're like, well, this person could trade this person, and then I could trade them, and then we could all like end up with monopolies. And you just take the first step in that, and you try to like make it the best deal, obviously, for yourself. And you do that repeatedly over and over and over and just keep capitalizing on these small opportunities to create more opportunities. And you make more opportunities for yourself within every trade that you do. Then you essentially give yourself the best odds to end up with the best amount of properties where you're going to be able to charge some significant cash and win the game. And that's just, that's just my meta. That's what I found out. If I prioritize this one particular strategy, then I tend to win. <laughs> almost all the time. My family hates playing with me now. They literally, we don't play Monopoly anymore because it's just caused too many arguments. I just I just started winning every single time and nobody wants to play with me. But, uh, you know, that's just how you live life. Like, you gotta figure out what to prioritize based on the value that you're able to output from a specific action, right? What is, what is the highest leverage, highest value things that you're able to do right now to actually create more opportunity for yourself in life? to actually change your position, to actually make cash, right? Like going and running in circles, talking to other people, all, the, all these other, you know, young entrepreneurs, there's a lot of people that want to start these group chats and they want to say, hey, we're all going to make a bunch of money together. And then they just sit around and talk all day. They sit around and they're like, oh, how's your business do? Oh, it's good and good. I've sent my 10 DMs for the day. And, oh, okay, that's cool. And then they go and they talk to their other friend. Hey, how's your business doing? Oh, it's good. I, you know, I wrote one uh, script for the day and I recorded my video. And, oh, okay, okay. And then they go and they talk to the other guy. And they just do this all day. It's like, it's ridiculous. I've been in so many of these groups where people just talk, 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 talk. And it's so, it's like counterintuitive. It keeps you stuck. It keeps you stuck when you prioritize the wrong things in business. And sure, meeting all these people, eventually, maybe it'll be good. But it slows down your progress like crazy if you don't just do the tasks that produce the most leverage. And that's, that's definitely not it. All those people I've seen do that, they stay stuck. They stay really stuck. And so I don't, I don't recommend doing that. Although some groups are good, especially if there's mentorship. Especially if you take on like projects together or something like that. Like if you wanted to like start a business with somebody, then yes, that's that's infinitely better than doing it yourself <laughs> unless like you know they're deadbeat and they're just like a horrible person but it's usually really really good if you can find a great person start a business together that's great and you're taking action together you're not talking you're taking action then yes it's good but for the most part i see a lot of people just talking talk 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 and so what is it what is the task that you can do what are the tasks that you can do to make the most movement forward in your business, to make the most movement forward in your life. If you want to acquire anything, you got to you got to decide what your priorities are. With women, you know, maybe you say, "Okay, well, first, if I want to get, you know, the best woman that I'm able to get, first I'm going to get the best physique that I'm able to get. I'm going to prioritize that. And then once my physique is good, I'm going to put that on maintenance and I'm just going to work out like, you know, two times a week or something. And then I'm going to really focus hard on cash. This is my strategy. I don't know. You do whatever you want. And then once I get, you know, up to 10K a month or whatever, I'm going to keep pushing, but like to a lesser degree and I'm going to free up my time and I'm going to make some good friends and connections and I'm going to travel and stuff like that. I'm going to try to meet really cool people. And then, you know, once I meet a bunch of people and stuff, I'm going to like acquire a farm and I'm going to like start a YouTube video about farm or YouTube channel about farms. And I'm going to big this big like ecotourism, like educational center and do all sorts of cool stuff with that, with the investment money that I've built over the years in my online business. Like I've got priorities for each stage of life. And then you can break that down into like, what kind of steps am I going to prioritize each step of the way? So my fitness what am I going to prioritize? Obviously nutrition, but what? how am I going to do that? Like, what am I going to eat? Um, I need to hit 200 grams of protein per day. Okay, that's easy. I need to hit 4,000 calories, 5,000 calories a day. Maybe you're smaller. You don't need to get that big. 3,000 calories a day. Cool. 
then like that's easy. You got to make measurable. Like, what am I going to prioritize? Right? I'm going to prioritize whole foods, and I'm going to prioritize like not eating soy because I want my testosterone to go up, and I'm going to prioritize like staying away from estrogenics and plastics, and you know maybe dairy if you don't if you're worried about that. But I'm not worried about that. Um, then you get to money and whatever, and you're like, okay, well I'm going to prioritize uh, you know building an audience rather than sending out a bunch of uh, cold. DMs, or I'm going to prioritize building an audience over going and knocking doors to try and get leads, and uh, I'm going to build an audience online, and that's what I'm going to prioritize, and I'm going to prioritize that by giving them as much value, and I'm, that's going to be my task that's going to make more opportunities for me in the future, rather than doing what other people would do, and like, there's many ways to go about this, right, like I said, like I could door knock, and I could be doing a lawn mowing service, or like landscaping, or I could be doing whatever the heck I want, right? There's so many different ways to go. I want to make money online because I want to go travel. Like I said, the step after that is I want to go travel and I want to go meet a lot of cool people. And I can't do that if I don't make money online, right? So that's what I want to do. But what you need to decide is what are you going to do? And that, I mean, that's something only you can do. And once you decide what you want to do, what you want to accomplish, you need to figure out what do I prioritize? What is it going to produce the most value, the most leverage? And then eventually, you'll probably succeed. <laughs> as long as you actually are doing the tasks that provide the most value and the most leverage, there's no reason you wouldn't succeed. Okay, so those are just some thoughts I've had on my mind recently. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day. Peace.